Welcome back to another video with HP Tuners. Today we're going to be discussing everything you need to know about the HP Tuners credit and licensing system. So once you have your MPVI 2 Plus device, that's the OBD2 interface, this is the tool, and any additional hardware, it could be a PCM upgrade or ECM upgrade, it could be an adapter cable for your Can-M. You'll also want to have the latest version of VCM Suite, then you'll need to purchase credits to license your vehicle. You have to have credits in order to actually tune a vehicle with HP Tuner software. You can read, edit, and save files without using credits, but when it comes time to actually writing a calibration to your vehicle's control module, you need to purchase credits and license that control module. So what are credits? They are a digital currency system that HP Tuners uses to allow you to license a specific control module in your vehicle. HP Tuners has support for a wide range of ECMs, PCMs, TCMs, and more. Think about it like a prepaid cell phone. You buy the phone itself, but then you need to purchase minutes for phone calls or text messages. Now, this analogy works really well to kind of explain how the system works, although I'm not sure how many people out there are still using prepaid cell phones, but you buy the MPVI 2 Plus interface. This is the tool. Then you load on credits to it in order to license and tune whichever vehicles you'd like that are supported by HP Tuners. So when it comes time for you to tune your vehicle, you can go to the HP Tuners website, purchase credits, and then in VCM Editor with a resync, you'll be able to add them to your device. We'll talk about the specific details and steps for that later in this video. There are also two different kinds of credits. We have universal credits and MPVI credits. We'll discuss more of the differences on that also later on in this video. When you're purchasing your MPVI 2 Plus, you notice on the product page that you have the option to configure it how you'd like. At that moment, you can add on Pro Feature Set if you'd like. You can also load on credits, so you can configure it with MPVI 2 Plus on its own, plus Pro Feature Set and two credits, or an MPVI 2 Plus and 20 credits. All of that can be done through the product purchase page. Why do you need a license? Well, as the tuner, licensing a control module gives you the power to tune it. It allows you to make changes and write a calibration to that control module. Vehicle licenses are tied to the VIN, the PCM OS, and the PCM serial number. So as long as those values don't change, a vehicle will remain licensed on an interface and can be tuned indefinitely. But here's how it works as an example. So let's just say you have an MPVI 2 Plus and you get credits, license your car and start tuning it. And then your friend comes over with his MPVI 2 Plus. Even though your car has already been licensed and you're tuning it, he can't plug in his MPVI 2 Plus and make the same changes and tune it because when it was licensed, it's tied to your interface. If he wants to also make changes, he would have to purchase credits and then license your car on his interface to do the same thing. These licenses are tied specifically to your vehicle and the interface. There are many advantages to this credit-based licensing system. The biggest one is the fact that one device can be used to license and tune any vehicle that is supported by HP Tuners. If you go to our vehicles page, you'll see a huge list of a variety of manufacturers, vehicles, models that are all supported by HP Tuners. So that one interface, along with credits, you can license hundreds and thousands of vehicles. So tune everything in your garage, tune your truck, your side-by-side, -side, your weekend race car, or even your mom's daily driver, all with one device and credits. It's also a very easy purchase process. You don't need to specify what vehicle you're planning on tuning, the license type, and so forth. When you're purchasing credits, simply get them and then license what you want when you want. It's a web-based system too, so you go to the website, you purchase your credits, and then you resync your device, your MPVI 2 Plus, and the credits will quickly show up on your interface ready for you to use. And lastly, this system works really well for all sorts of business models. Whether you're an end enthusiast, you're a tuner for your weekend uh, race car, or you're a mid-level tuner shop, or you're a big manufacturer, you can use credits and license as many vehicles as you want, and you can tune them after licensing. There are also unlimited year model licenses available for specific vehicles. So you'll find that information on the vehicles page. There's a column there that indicates whether or not it is available. Now let's talk about the different kinds of credits. There are two. We have universal credits and MPVI credits, which you'll hear referred to as GM, Ford, or Dodge credits. The MPVI credits are for the first generation MPVI interface, and they do not work with the newer MPVI 2 or MPVI 2 Plus. So if you still have an MPVI, you can license and tune vehicles using MPVI credits. They are specific to vehicle brands, so GM, Ford, or Dodge credits. And there are a lot of newer vehicles that are not supported by the MPVI with MPVI credits. 
For example, if you have a 2019 Corvette Z01, you cannot license and tune that with an MPVI. You will need a newer MPVI 2 or MPVI 2 Plus along with universal credits. For universal credits, they are as the name sounds. They are universal. They are not specific to a vehicle brand. You can simply purchase them and use them to license a vehicle on your MPVI 2 or MPVI 2 Plus. Universal credits do not work on the first generation MPVI device. So all you need to do is go to the vehicles page and find your vehicle and see how many credits it will cost to license it, purchase those universal credits, and you are good to go. You'll also note on the website with the vehicle support page, there are certain year makes and models that will have a blue two in parentheses. That refers to vehicles that are only supported using an MPVI 2 or 2 plus and universal credits. How much do credits cost and how do you know how many credits it takes to license your vehicle? All credits are $49.99 and they can be purchased on the HP Tuners website. In terms of how many credits it costs to license your vehicle, that varies depending upon the year, make, model, and engine. So you'll want to visit the vehicles page, which shows everything that we support down to the year, make, and model, along with how many credits it will cost to license it. You also want to note that those credit licensing costs refer to the ECM specifically of your car. If you want to license the TCM, the FICM, the FSCM, or the TCM, any other module that is supported, there will be additional licensing costs. Here's an example. If you have a 2018 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 liter, that costs four credits to license the ECM, which is $200 in credits. If you have a 2016 Camaro with the 6.2 liter, that will cost two credits to license, which is $100 in credits. Let's just say you want to license the newest supported Volkswagen Amarok diesel. HP Tuners has ECM and TCM support for that application. So the ECM will cost four credits to license, whereas the ZF8 transmission TCM will cost four credits to license for a total of eight credits or $400. So absolutely check out the vehicle supported page, which shows which year, make, and model we currently support, and also the amount of credits it would take to license it. Adding credits to your device and checking your credit balance is a really straightforward process. When you're ready to tune your vehicle, you're going to want to purchase your universal credits. You can purchase as many or as little as you would like, but make sure you know how many credits it's going to take to license it so you buy at least that many. Make sure you're connected to the internet, plug in your MPVI 2 Plus to your laptop with a supplied USB-C cable, load up the latest version of VCM Suite, go to the help menu and select Resync Interface, and very quickly, you will have the credit show up on your MPVI 2 Plus. Make sure you're connected to the internet. To check how many credits are on your device from past purchases, you'll do the same thing. Go to VCM Editor, go to the Help menu, and select License Info, and that will show how many credits you currently have. A question you may have is, can I delete licenses or swap them to another vehicle? The answer to that is no. Once a license is chosen and committed, it is permanently stored. It cannot be erased or transferred. So if you wish to tune a new vehicle, you have to purchase more universal credits and license and tune that new vehicle. Our credit-based licensing system gives our users a tremendous amount of freedom and flexibility. With one interface, you can tune any vehicle that is supported by HP tuners whenever you want, however many as you want. Although there is a technical limit, each device has onboard storage, but very few customers have hit that limit. So effectively, you can tune as many vehicles as you want with your MPVI 2 Plus. If you have any questions about this process, definitely comment below. Make sure you check out our vehicles page because that includes all the details on which year, make, and model is supported and how many credits it costs to license that vehicle. Our forum and knowledge base are also tremendously powerful resources. There is a lot of great information there. And if you get really stuck, feel free to reach out to our support team with a ticket. They will help you with anything credit-based or licensing-based for your questions. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in.